Faced with symptoms suggesting loss of response, the clinician must first consider whether the symptoms are due to inflammatory or non-inflammatory disease and determine drug trough levels. Dermatologic side effects, that's affecting the skin, have recently been associated with high infliximab trough levels. Patients with loss of response and high drug levels and low or undetectable anti-drug antibodies may have inflammation that's not caused by TNF. Or indeed, they may have symptoms from a non-inflammatory process such as an irritable bowel. If active inflammation is present, switching to a drug with a different mechanism of action is, is optimal. But switching to another anti-TNF uh, TNF agent can also be considered. Of course, non-inflammatory symptoms need to be treated on their own merit.